The tonal pen applination tonometer is a pen-shaped device used for measuring intraocular pressures by directly touching an anesthetized cornea. Measurement of intraocular pressures is indicated in the assessment of acute eye injury, acute eye pain, a red eye, and an acute loss of visual acuity. Normal intraocular pressures tend to run between 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. Contraindications to tonometry include suspicion for a ruptured globe, acute traumatic hyphema where a ruptured globe cannot be ruled out, and the uncooperative patient. Contact lenses should be removed before performing any tonometry. To measure intraocular pressures with a tonopen, the following equipment is needed. A pen tonometer, topical anesthetic, either preparacane or tetracaine, tonopen tip covers, and examination gloves. Tonopens are battery operated devices. You should have a regular maintenance schedule for the tonopen, which includes weekly calibration, routine battery changes approximately every four months, and cleaning the tonometer tip with compressed air approximately every two months. Be sure to keep the air canister vertical, otherwise the liquid propellant would damage the tonopen. The parts of the tonometer are the transducer tip, the operator button, and an LCD display. Do not touch the transducer tip as it is very sensitive to dust and oily residue. The operator button is used for calibration and to start the pressure measurement process. The LCD screen provides information about the calibration process and also tells you the pressure reading. The tone pen is simple to use if you follow the proper steps and timing sequences. To check for calibration, hold the pen straight down and press the operator button once. If you see a double dashed line on the LCD screen, you may proceed with measuring the IOP. If you see a single dash line, the tone pen must be calibrated prior to use. To calibrate the tonometer, keep the tone pen pointing straight down and rapidly double click the operator button. Listen for the beep and the LCD screen will say Cal. Once you see Cal, keep the tone pen straight down for 15 seconds until you hear the beep and see up on the LCD display. Turn and hold the tone pen up until it beeps and you see good on the LCD screen. Now you're ready to go. If you receive other output, calibration should be repeated. Low batteries or a need for maintenance are often the reasons for difficulty in calibration. First administer topical anesthetic to the cornea. The patient should be relaxed and seated upright or lying down flat prior to beginning. Tight shirt collar should be loosened. To measure the IOP, press the operator button once. Two lines should appear on the LCD screen. Have the patient focus with a non-tested eye on a distant object, such as a visual acuity chart, a doorknob, or a light switch. Next, lightly tap the center of the cornea several times. You will hear clicking while you are tapping. Continue tapping until you hear a beep, then record the pressure from the LCD screen. Also note the error of the reading by identifying the location of the small hash mark in relation to the error scale located next to the screen. Optimal measurement requires an error reading of 5%. Press the operator button again, and after the beep, repeat the measurement. It is best to get two IOP readings for each eye and record both. Measurement should be repeated until both recordings have less than 5% error. If this cannot be obtained, you should record the amount of error in your exam note. When recording the IOP, conventionally the right eye is listed first, followed by the left eye. If a patient's eyelids must be held open for testing due to involuntary squeezing or eyelid edema, make sure that you do not push on the eye itself, as this will falsely raise the IOP measurement. In these instances, try to hold the lid against the bony orbital rim to avoid putting pressure on the globe. Tonal pen applination tonometry is an easy and accurate way of measuring intraocular pressures in patients presenting with acute eye problems. By becoming proficient with this skill, Important information can be obtained which may aid in the appropriate triage and management of these challenging eye patients.